Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons. And what I'd like to do in this video, hopefully, is show you guys how to put together a meets and bounds land description. So what I call modern meets and bounds land description. I don't think I've done a video on this before, so this one's this one's fairly simple. So we're working off some some modern uh, subdivision mapping, so it shouldn't be too bad. So this is the parcel that we need to describe in writing here. And uh, it's actually a, a piece of a road right away. Uh, it's for a, a ward called <laughs> a, a ward a road called Ward Road. And so let me jump over here and show you what we got. So this is a this is a, a subdivision we're working on as part of a master plan community. It actually there's a whole nother chunk of this coming. But what we've got here is uh, we've got this road right here. And um, I've kind of traced it in blue, so I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's this shape right here. So this road needs to be dedicated by deed, this road right away. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go ahead and dedicate that by deed. So I've got the boundary design drawing with just the shape in it, okay, which is what I need. And then it's actually helpful to, to add the commencement courses here. So we're, we're going to go ahead and do that. And... Um, Let me think about this for a minute. You know what? Actually, I don't think we're going to need a commencement course. We can just start right on the right on the nose of the parcel. So we'll do that. Okay. So we've got our boundary design drawing here. Okay. And then we also have um, a closure report that my tech prepared for me. Okay. So here's the closure report. And then uh, we have the, the just the shell of the land description based on our template here, okay, which I'll go over in, in just a minute. And then uh, my tech also has most of the plat drawn. Uh, so let's open that plat. Now you don't you don't have to have the plat done when you start, uh, but it helps. Um, it does help to have most of the plat done. Okay, so here's the plat showing the, the, the piece of the road that we're describing there. Okay. And uh, we also have a map. So I'm just going to stick this in a quick references folder. Oop, better call it refs, not regs, huh? Okay, normally these will be in our research folder, but just for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to drop this in here. Okay, and uh, we've got the, uh, we'll open that up so you guys can see it. Okay, so here's the subdivision map that I'm going to be working off of. And you can see here's the right of way that we need to describe right here that we're going to dedicate by deed. Okay, and so just to, to start, at a minimum you want your line working CAD and a boundary design drawing. You want your closure report. And then you want your, your land description template in Word, and you want whatever reference docs you're going to be using. You need those to be available. Okay, So we have all that. Helps if you have a plat. Most of the plat can be drafted before you actually do the land description, so we have that. Okay, So we have all those things, so make sure you have those before you start. I'm going to just pull this to my other monitor. You guys won't be able to see it. Okay, Let's just talk about what we have in this land description here. Okay, So uh, we have a title here, and uh, this will change depending on what you're doing and who it's for, but this is called out as Exhibit A. Here's the title, Ward Road right away. Okay, and then we have the caption, okay, which was always at the start. Okay, and we'll do some separate videos about how to do captions, but I'll walk you through this one. So we're in the city of Los Banos, County of Merced, State of California, being a portion of Lot C, as shown on the subdivision map known as South Point Regency Park, filed in Book 81 of Official Plats at page 20. Merced County Records, and more particularly described as follows. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just calling out that my right-of-way is part of this lot C here. Okay, and then uh, I give the book and page and the name of the name of the subdivision, the whole nine yards there in the caption. Okay, so we got a good caption. Okay, now I need to start somewhere. Okay, and sometimes we'll have a point of commencement and a point of beginning. In this case, I'm just going to have a point of beginning because it's fairly simple. 
So uh, I'm going to start right here at, at this point. Okay, now we need a way to describe this point. Okay, we can't really call it the southeast corner of lot C because that could also be the southeast corner of lot C, right? So we need a way to describe this. So I'm going to show you how I do it. And there's, a, there's different ways that you can do that. But we're going to describe it <clears throat> as being uh, our point of beginning here being the north. We're going we're gonna to call it the southwest corner of lot B being on the north end of this line. So we're going to identify this point right here. okay? Because you could say the south, the, either of these could be the southeast corner, but we're going to call this one out specifically. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get that distance and uh, it's right here. Okay. It's 21, 21. Okay, and uh, and we've got the bearing here too, uh, but let's go ahead. Let's grab that off the record map, right? Because that's what we want to do. All right, guys. So here's that course that we need: North 46, 11, 58 East, 21, 21. Right. We're going to identify this point right here, and then we're going to go around our our shape. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we go into our land description template here, you can see I've got this set up already. So commencing, okay, so actually we're not we're not gonna have a commencing, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. This particular description, we're not gonna we're not gonna have that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change commencing with beginning. Okay. So and we need what we need to do here is we need to describe that beginning point. Okay. Okay, so we're going to describe this point here, this point of beginning. So we're going to say beginning at the south east corner of lot B on said subdivision. Okay, so when we say said subdivision, we're, we're jumping back up to this last reference here. <clears throat> I'm going to say of said subdivision. Then we're going to say, in parentheses, said point being at the northeasterly end of the course labeled as north 46. Okay, and then we got to get the degree symbol in there. Let's see if I can remember how to do that. Symbol, degree, north 46, 11, 58. East 21.21 feet. Okay, so there you go. We're beginning at that point. Okay, and I'm not like other surveyors. I don't use then dense. I use then. I use modern English, and I don't have huge run-on sentences in my legals. So I, just, I use periods. I just think it makes it easier to read. Okay, so we're starting at that point. All right, well, what do we do next? Okay, so then I have this kind of template course right here that we're going to use. Okay, so we're going to just drop this in here a few times. Okay. And so what we need to do is we need to fill this out for our first course, okay? And, and uh, we're not going to worry about the bearing of distance yet. We're going to grab that out of the closure. So we're going to say then, okay? And uh, we're going to go, let me just show you guys what we're doing. Okay. My, uh, my computer's having a hard time with that. So we're going to go across. We're going to go across the right away here along this boundary of lot C to start. Okay. So we're going to say then westerly, or sorry, easterly. Easterly. I'm dyslexic, so I get west and east mi mixed up. Then easterly. Okay. We're not going to worry about the bearing and distance yet. We'll come back. So some bearing and distance. Okay. Along. So then we're going to say along the southerly. Boundary of said lot C. Okay, and then we go what? To what? To V. Okay, and then we're going to say easterly boundary of the uh, right of way being described. Okay, sometimes people say described herein. Okay, so now we can go get that bearing a distance out of our closure report. Okay, so it's right here. 
Okay, and I'm going to change that a little bit because I like to have mine spelled out here. I like my, my directions for my quadrant to be spelled out. Okay, and then we're just, once we get that done, we can just uh, match properties here on the format, use the format painter. Okay, except it doesn't need to be bold. There's our first course, all right? Not too bad. Now, unfortunately, it gets a little tricky because we have a couple curves coming up here, right? So we'll we'll, uh, we'll get a look at our plat and we'll get going on those curves here in uh, in a minute uh, in the next video. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.